Thank you for that kind introduction. And thank all of you for being here today on what is just a wonderful event. Events like today, I can feel the energy in the room, the excitement, the families who've traveled from afar. Thank you so much for coming and being here with us. Staff, faculty, parents, special guests, and members of the graduating class of 2019, it truly is my privilege to be invited to join you today to celebrate this most special occasion and the 40th anniversary of Columbia International College. On behalf of the University of Toronto, I bring, bring greetings and thanks to the founder and executive director and our friend, Mr. Clement Chan, for his continued support and partnership Congratulations on achieving this impressive milestone of 40 years of outstanding education in the province of Ontario and of educating so many amazing students all of these years. The, at the University of Toronto, we are extremely proud of the connection we have with Columbia International College, and I'm delighted to be here as part of your ceremony today. For the graduates there, out there in the audience, today marks the culmination of what I know is a lot of hard work and dedication, but it's also a beginning. As you start to think about the next phase of your educational journey, let me share something that we know very well about students that come from CIC. You are among the best and the brightest. CIC graduates are admitted to a wide range of excellent universities across Canada and around the world. And we are always thrilled, all of us here at U of T and at all of the universities in Ontario and around the world, we are always thrilled to have you as part of our student body. And so I also want to take a moment to thank the parents. And I think you should take a moment to thank your parents for having the foresight to send you here. And thank you to your teachers for all that they've taught you. And I think you should thank yourselves for making the most of your time here and for reaching this most auspicious day. So what puts, well, we'll give you some applause too. <laughs> There's never enough applause for graduates on your graduation day. What puts CIC graduates above the curve? Well, it's in large part due to the excellent education and the, sp the support that students have received here, but I think it's also a result of your incredible life experience. As international students studying in Canada, you've had opportunity for growth and personal development that many of our incoming first-year university students have yet to experience. Many students coming to university are leaving their family home for the first time. You've already moved to a new country, moved across the world, and come to a place that you didn't know initially. And here at CIC, you've gained extremely val valuable knowledge and skills that have given you an advantage as you start your university studies. You've acquired the ability to work with diverse others so important in the world that we live in now. And you've acquired what we refer to at U of T as your global fluency, your ability to move in many countries, in many circles, and this will serve you well in university and in our increasingly internationalized world. And I know all of this not only because as vice provost students, my job is to help transition students into university and be successful while they're with this. And I know this not only because as a professor of sociology for 25 years, I've taught and helped students find their way at university. I know this because, like many of you, I was not born in Canada. I came here to take a chance on a new life and a new experience. I was not as young as you when I came to Toronto. I moved here in my late 20s after graduate school to pursue my faculty position in the Department of Sociology at U of T. And I acknowledge from the outset that my personal immigration story is one of privilege. I grew up in the US, in Northeastern Ohio, 
We could see Canada across the lake, across Lake Erie. We knew that Canada was a, uh, was a foreign country, uh, but it also was close by. And I arrived in Canada speaking the language and for the most part, sounding like I was Canadian. But I will always remember the day that I arrived at the Canadian border. In my case, with all my worldly possessions haphazardly loaded into a rental van, I recall the nervousness I felt when I handed my passport, my work visa, and a list of goods over to the customs agent at the border. It was a very different experience from my other friends starting a new faculty job who were simply moving to a new city. I had to first see if they were even going to let me into Canada to start my new job. Once I passed through customs, it hit me. Even though the border is only a few hours from my home, I was now an immigrant, and I was now living in another country. Even though my experience was not one of major culture shock or changing time zones or weather patterns, I understand a bit about what you've experienced. I had those homesick moments and feelings that I was different, feelings that I just didn't understand sometimes what people were talking about. But little by little, just like you, I started to adjust and settle in to a new country, a new home, and a new life. And so based on my own experience, when I look at all of you today graduating, I am in awe for you to have successfully navigated moving to another country, coming to a new high school, and now graduating from, Canadian, from Columbia International College with its stellar academic reputation and its rigor, well, that is indeed an amazing achievement. If I had my hat, my hat would be off to you. This is an achievement that you should know sets you up for the rest of your life. Life is about transitions. As a sociologist, we often talk about life course transitions. Life course transitions are the important moments that mark shifts in the sequence, relationships, and experiences of your life. Transitions out of high school and into university. Transi transitions into marriage and family, career transitions, transitions that we know can be stressful and exciting at the same time. You've already successfully navigated one major transition. You left home and you came to school in Canada at Columbia International College. And at the end of this ceremony, you will have successfully navigated another life-altering transition. You will have graduated from high school. So this tells me that you've acquired some of the skills that we know are needed to be successful at university. It tells me that you're courageous, and it tells me that you are truly our risk takers who are going to help us solve some of the most wicked problems in the world. You will experience many new things as you enter the post-high school phase of your life. And no matter where your educational and life journey takes you, know that you can manage it know that you have already made some major transitions in your life, major transitions that other students have yet to experience. So you can do it, and I encourage you to continue to be brave and to continue to do what you've been doing. As you transition into university, my main piece of advice is to use that courage that I know you have to stay open to new experiences. Many of you know what you want to study, and you may be focused on a specific career goal. And yet sometimes, the most rewarding path with the biggest payoff in terms of happiness, friendships, and career success are the unexpected opportunities that you cannot yet imagine. As a sociology professor, I often meet students who have come to university to do one thing, and they end up doing something else. And I'm a perfect example. I thought I would study political science, I thought I would go to law school, and I thought I would live my life pretty close to where I grew up. My second year in university, I took a sociology class and I fell in love. I had found my intellectual passion and I became something I never expected to be, a university professor, and I've now lived most of my adult life in a country I never expected to be in, here in Canada. 
So I hope that you will stay open and embrace the unexpected. That is truly my hope for you as you move forward with your life. You'll also need to remember that being courageous when things are going well is the easy part. But lifting your head up, asking for help, and being courageous when things are not going well is tougher. As you move forward to the next steps of your education and your life journey, not every moment is going to go smoothly. I certainly know that from my own life. And no matter how well you plan, there will be bumps in the road and plans may change. But because of the roads you have already been on, the successful transitions that you've made, the work that you've done while you've been here, you should know that you have the strength through your courage and your resiliency to get through the good and the more difficult times of your life. And please know, it's not just all on your shoulders. Remember that you have all of these people who are literally sitting behind you today, who are in your corner, supporting you, cheering you on, and all of us on stage who are with you, and your new friends and support networks to come, we will be here along the way with you to share in your accomplishments and to help you through the times when you may need a bit of a boost. When I sat down to think about what I wanted to say today, I decided to think back to my own high school graduation to remember what the day felt like and what I would have wanted to say to someone like me. Unfortunately, a number of years have passed and as I thought about it, it was all a bit of a blur. So if I have one last piece of advice for you today, it's to certainly have fun, certainly celebrate, and take lots of pictures. Your family will want to take lots of pictures today. But also, take a few moments to pause and take it all in and say, I'm here and I'm graduating. Soak up the looks of pride on your family's face and on your teacher's faces. Pick something specific to remember about today, whether it's a conversation with a friend or a staff member or something that was said that's inspired you. And maybe even write your future you a little note so that when you think back on this day, you can be reminded of how great it is to be here, how much you've accomplished to be here, and you can also look back and see how far you've come. And so I will wish you one last congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2019 at Columbia International College. I know great things are in store for you. Mm -hmm.